Good morning. Well, we're back to our um, way bigger project than we intended tank painting project. So, uh, plan here this morning is to clean up around. So, I'm going to get the floor swept up. We're going to get the tank wiped down. Uh, and then we're going to go get some paint here later this morning. Come back and try and get a coat of paint on this uh, primer coat today. We'll see how it goes. So, I'm going I'm to clean up a little bit. We'll get the forklift and the hoist and lift that thing up. I'll uh, get our floor nice and clean, and then um, uh, we'll get some paper and put down. I'll roll this running gear out of the way after we clean the floor up up there. I'm not going to paint that. I'm not going to paint it. I'm telling myself I'm not going to paint it. It's probably going to get painted, but I don't want to do it. We'll see. better over there. I'm going to move our stuff out of the way. You think I can pick that up with a forklift? I wonder how much that tank weighs. I wish I knew how much it weighs. We'll see. If we can pick it up with a forklift, it's less than 5,000 pounds. Well, I set our forks out wide, so we got a wider base. We'll get centered here as best we can. Whoa. Oh, yeah. We got it. Let's move it out of the way for now. Well, there you go. We're a little off center. It's okay. Okay, our floor is reasonably clean, so I'm gonna go out and uh, get some paper. Dad's got some rolls of some red rosin paper we can roll out on the floor underneath where we're gonna be painting. Uh, I'm trying to figure out the best way to do this. Uh, obviously I can set this block or this tank down on blocks or I could even set it right down on its feet pads um, but how do I paint underneath it if I do that I could hang it from our hoist and the forklift on the other end like when we took it off of the running gear um, then we can theoretically move it up and down to be able to paint underneath and then set it down and paint the top side <sighs> Or I could just set it on some blocks. I don't know. I will probably hang it. Or we could paint the bottom and then roll it and paint the top. I don't really want to do that. I'd like to do it all in one shot. Or, you know, a, a primer coat and a top coat and probably a second top coat. But, I don't know. We'll see how it goes here. Let's get the paper out and then we'll figure out how to position it. Here's our paper. Dad's uh, redoing his, his walls out here in the... This is our old pig barn, but he uses this as his wood shop and stuff. And he's uh, made all these two by fours up, which are pretty nice, pretty nice. And uh, looks like he's framing in a wall. Gonna put a little insulation in. I know he's got a bunch of boards. Uh, he's gonna put a wood wood wall on there, kind of like the back of his door. Except for I think he's gonna go horizontal boards. Try and clean up that corner. Very nice. Well, that's not gonna be enough. Add more red rosin paper to our shopping list. Uh-huh. All right. I was going through the uh, paint cabinet in there to see what we had for paint. I found some, some mix cans that we can clean up and make those work. And we had this um, gallon of primer, white primer that I thought, yeah, that'll work. Probably not. Yeah, I would say, yeah, no, we're not going to use that. <laughs> Someday we need to just spend a whole day <clears throat> opening paint cans up and seeing if there's any usable paint in there or not. This one, yeah, it's got a film, pretty crusty, and there's not much in there anyway. <clears throat> this is kind of what I'm thinking for a finish coat, a light gray color. Tractor, truck, implement, exterior, oil base, that, that, that. We're gonna go buy a gallon of that, probably. I don't know, but probably. We've made it to the paint aisle here at uh, Rural King. So we found this. There's our light Ford gray that I think will work. Down here, there's the, um, <clears throat> tank enamel that you're supposed to use, but I don't want white, so we'd have to tin it. I don't have that ability, so we're not going to use that. 
The other option is the Rust-Oleum light machine gray that's a little darker. I have a smoke gray that's too dark. <sighs> so do I go with this one or that one? The idea is to match the barn, the, the lighter color on the barn as much as possible. I think we're going to go with the lighter one. It shouldn't matter one way or the other too much other than the color. I think the paint's uh, the rust Williams probably better paint, but I think it'll be fine. We're going that one. All right, we made it back. I got our, our rolls of paper and check this. I got a wide one so that we can cover it a little faster. So that'll be nice. And I got our paint. We um, we got some some white rust coat primer, oil based, perfect. And uh, tractor implement. Extra oil based enamel, which I am pretty sure is the exact same as this, just in updated can. Light Ford Gray, same same part number or number on there. Yeah, so this one's just not any good. Alright, um what else did I get? Oh yeah. Reducer. Hardener for that stuff. We got some paint thinner. We are good to go. However, on my way back, I got a phone call from the place where I ordered uh, some black pipe uh, a week ago. I ordered 21-foot uh, sticks of uh, black pipe for down in my seed warehouse for that heater that we're going to install, like that. And uh, they're in, so I need to go get them. So I need to hook up a trailer and go get them and take care of that. Then we'll come back and paint. Well, I got the trailer, but you guys can't see it. It's, um, it's covered in snow. So I think we better um, scrape it off before we go. Otherwise we'll be trying to strap our pipe down in snow and that's not fun. Yeah, something like that. We got what we need. They're, they're a little curved. it will be okay. They even came with the couplers already on them. What a deal. What a deal. Because, uh, yeah, like I said when I ordered them a week ago, they were $10 a stick cheaper than Menards. And these come with couplers that Menards charges like 2 bucks for. So, awesome. What a deal. And I can get them now instead of the end of February. You guys see the big old construction project that we've got going on over here? Ooh, too far. Big crane and all kinds of stuff. That is going to be North America's newest salmon farm building a uh, 300 plus million dollar salmon farm right there. They are a couple of years, I think, from being able to actually raise or ship any salmon out of there. I think they're supposed to have some fish in by the end of the year, but nothing harvestable for 18 months after that. So uh, they're a ways out yet. Um, but I think that's going to be a pretty big deal for us around here. Um, I, first questions I asked when they said they were putting in a, a, a salmon farm was, what do they eat and what do they do with the manure? Because <laughs> there's got to do something, right? I would think that salmon, fish, would need a high-protein diet that might consist of a fair bit of soybeans. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. And um, while it might not be the most pleasant smelling stuff, I would imagine that fish manure is probably pretty good stuff. So interesting story to watch as it develops. Maybe someday after it's up and going, they'll let me come and do a video tour there. I think that would be really cool. I think them are big. <clears throat> All right. Well, that'll make well, uh, putting the gas line in a lot easier. So we're going to start in that corner. We're going to come in and maybe go up just a little bit, and then we're going to head across, go up, and right down the, middle, the, the peak, the middle there, to where our burner's going to be. Uh, should work out pretty well. So... This is a next week project because next week it's supposed to be in the 50s and not the teens like it is today. It's cold. Brr. Okay, finally, back to our project here. So uh, we're going to finish putting paper out on the floor and then we're going to get this tank hanging and then we'll uh, wipe it down with a rag and some paint thinner on it. We'll mix up some paint and spray it. Yeah, big wide rolls are nice. That was quick. All right, we're going to try and get this thing rolled back over here. Use our overhead hoist. Yeah, 
we're gonna have to lift on the other end as well. It's a little tight quarters here. Let's see what we can do. A little sketchy, but we got it. Now I should be able to drag that out there, and that should roll. Or we can come over here and push it a little bit. There. I think if I get the uh, strap just a little closer to the end of the fork, I can get some clearance to it. And we can just have that thing kind of hang in there while we paint it. And lift it up to get to the bottom and set it back down, or even just set it down, and paint the sides and the top. I think that'll work really well. Paint thinner in the rags. We got her wiped down. Okay, we got our tank all wiped down. I lifted it up a little more. We're gonna start on the bottom side and go. So I mixed up some paint. We stirred that up, put some in there, put some thinner in it so that we could reduce it down. We've got our spray gun ready to go. I've got my gloves on, operator on. We're not using any hardener or anything super dangerous today, uh, but it is still oil-based paint and you wanna be careful with it. So. Uh, I'm going to go get a GoPro, set it up for you, and we're going to get this painted. part done the bottom third we're gonna go ahead and lower it down a little bit do the sides um i don't know if i have the right tip in on my gun the paint seems to flow awfully slow it's taking a while i mean it's fine it's just taking a long time i wonder if i have a uh, finished coat or a clear coat uh, and i should have a bigger one for a little uh, heavier thicker primer yeah it's, a, it's, it's okay, it's just it's not real fast here. We don't have any runs that way though. Alright, I'm gonna drop it down. Just dropped it back down. I switched guns because I found my primer gun, 1.8 nozzle. I don't know, it's maybe slightly better. Not a lot. I'm, I'm taking shortcuts and cutting corners anyway. I don't have filters that I'm filtering the paint through. I, you know, it's fine. You gotta know your project. We aren't restoring a 4020, we're painting an anhydrous tank. tank painted it's not um, super pretty uh, that gun kind of didn't work much better I, yeah I don't know I have uh, supposedly high volume low pressure guns but they appeared to be low volume low pressure so before we do any color coats which I may not have thinned my paint enough I didn't strain it that's probably part of it but um, before we put any color through them we're gonna tear both of those apart make sure everything's cleaned up I cleaned them up as best I could since we got done using them, I should clean the bench off too and I also found this one that was super dusty, uh, but we may we may look at that one. It's a different style, the siphon style instead of the uh, gravity feed. But um, we'll just get them cleaned up, pull the needles out, make sure there's no dried paint on them, anything like that. So that hopefully our color coat will go on a little bit smoother, faster, cleaner, and that. So anyway, um, yeah, we're good here mask in my nose um i have got to go we're having dinner at my in-laws tonight because yesterday was my wife's birthday and this is the third day in a row that we've celebrated 
So you know how that goes. Um, but yeah, so I gotta go get ready for that and get out of here. I might come tomorrow and try and throw a coat of paint on that. Tomorrow's Saturday. Um, we'll just see. Just depends on how much I wanna keep this project moving along and uh, get it out of here. So I know we've got a few different things going on next week. We're gonna try and get, we are gonna get this project wrapped up, at least the painting side of it. I don't have all the valves and hoses and stuff that I need yet to finish the project, um, but we can get what we have installed once we're done painting. Uh, but I've got a meeting on Tuesday up in Jackson. I've got uh, a couple other things going on, I think. I don't know. I don't like to plan more than a day or two ahead of time because I forget. So uh, we'll see. But thanks for watching. Uh, you guys did good this week. We had really good videos all week and did well. So thank you for that. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Uh, hope you're enjoying the content. Like the video for me. Um, we are, we're a month and a half. We're a, a month and a half from when I would consider planting some soybeans end of March. Probably won't happen, but if the weather cooperates, we might. So planters are going to come out soon in another couple of weeks, and um, we'll get ready for spring. Have a great weekend, everybody. We'll see you.